Uh, I guess I probably just took took full advantage of the opportunity that I had. Uh, my coaches and my teammates trusted in me a lot this season, and it just worked out for me. What has gone on through your mind since this past Thursday when you guys spent the spot on the NBA Finals and what have you done this last week? Nothing has been going through my mind. I'm just I'm ready to play. That's, that's all I'm all all that's going through my mind is I'm ready to play. That every game is tough. Uh, you got to go out there with that. I guess a game seven mentality, and you never know what you're going. You never know what you're going to get from the game. You just got to go out there and give it everything that you have, and, and just look at the results. Did you find that you stepped up from the conference finals to the finals? Well, let's start there. I mean, of course, yeah. This is definitely going to be a lot more intense, but we just got to fight through it and, and just play the game that we need to play. I'm just I'm just happy that we still playing basketball. I really don't care who we playing against. I just want to go out there and play, get wins. <laughs> oh way. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they're good offensive players. Just got to, like I said before, with all the other season, I mean, all the other series, just got to keep them from their spot and, and try to limit them to the shots that they like to take. Derek, before uh, the last series, we asked TJ about the end about him. He said, we don't really feel like underdogs. You guys are confident. What do you think, like, the reason for that mindset? You guys don't feel like underdogs. You feel so confident. Uh, we, we believe that we could beat anybody. Uh, I don't that underdog, I don't like that really. But I mean, they everybody gonna keep putting that narrative on us. So we go out there and we play the game like we're supposed to play. And I don't really think anybody can beat us in the seven game series. Guys just enjoying enjoying the win together and just knowing that we <clears throat> knowing that we got we got another another goal and ahead of us and just getting four more wins. And so we so we want we, we uh that's all we prepared to do and and just ready to get get it done. You guys have more yards than almost all the other teams combined in the playoffs this year. What is it about the loss that take us through why it's we got athletes. We got players that you could just put the ball up in the air and they're going to go get it no matter where you put it at. It's me, Live, Gav, PJ, Josh, whenever we whenever we get him. And sometimes Kai, when he on the break, you know, we throw Kai some lobs too. But I mean, like I said, we got athletes. We just got players that, that, that know they roll and, and can love to run the floor. Hell yeah, <laughs> way better. I mean, I, I could have, I could have accepted my player option in Chicago and still been on a team that, that's not in the playoffs right now. But I mean, I, I just decided to bet on myself and and I took, I took less money to come here. But the money wasn't the problem. The money wasn't the issue. I just wanted to have the opportunity to be on the floor and to showcase what I'm able to do, and it happened for me. Uh, for me, I didn't. I don't know. It was it was nerve wracking. I guess I just didn't know what was about to happen. Like I know where I was going. I know who was who was on who was. I know who was interested really because it was just that whole that whole trade with Dame. It was just it just shut everything down for a lot of players. But like I like I had I talked to Coach Kidd and, and he told me once I once I signed and if I if I was to come here and I was gonna have to work for everything. And, that's what I did. Is it kind of funny that the other team you're considering losses is down to you? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is kind of funny, but I'm just glad I made a. I'm glad I made the decision that I did, and I came here. Uh, not really. I mean, a little. They're probably a little bit louder, and probably say a couple words that you don't like. But that's that's every fan. That's every arena. You you hear things that you don't like. People say things that they they shouldn't say. But I mean, I'm in, <clears throat> in between those lines. I'm playing a game of basketball. I really don't. I really don't care what everybody else got to say. That's not in between those lines with me. You said what? I I just. I find it funny. I mean, I, I really don't care what people got to say. Whatever people got to say, they got to say it. You can't change what they're going to say. Like, as long as they ain't touching me and, and putting their hands on me, I ain't got no problem with it. You can say whatever you got to say. It's a free world. Like, um, we, just stay to, we just stay with each other and, and stay close through the thick and thin. When things going bad, we, we huddle up, and we talk. We, whenever the team go on a little run, we always tell each other, we taking a punch, now it's time to give ours. Ain't no need to to, to fold and, and just shy away from the pressure because that's not what we're going to do. We're we going to keep fighting. When you think back to the beginning of all this and that big East battle, things similar to yours, walking through the door, and just kind of the momentum, did you see <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, since since day one when when Dulab came in here, we we knew that he could be special, and and the kid was he came in here, nineteen, running the floor, and he got a lot of energy, rebound the ball at a, at a high level, and I mean that's all we could expect from him. That's all we could ask, and he he did it throughout the whole season for us, and for a rookie, that's that's yeah, that's that's great. I mean, I I love it, but. Next year, we, we expect him to step up, and we expect him to step up even more in the finals right now. Did you surprise everybody the way he's developed? Uh, I mean, probably a little bit, probably a little bit of surprise for, for, for a couple of people, but I mean, the ones that was, ones that's been in the gym with him every day, and we know what he's capable of. We, we see it every day, so it's, it's not really a surprise for us. I really don't. That's up to y'all to focus on whatever y'all want to focus on. I'm, I know with my team, me and my teammates, we focus on going into Boston and getting one win at a time and, and then taking it back home and, and getting it one win at a time. But I really, I don't know what, what the media should think about this series, but I know it's going to be a fun one. Do you think the nature of the job for your agent is to continue? <laughs> uh, I would hope so, but uh, no, nah, I just like I said, job's not done. I still, I still got a little bit more that I can give, and hopefully, I can get a little bit more. Hey, I know Marquise doesn't play a lot, but what does it mean for this team? Not just on the sideline, during the game, but in the locker room. Everything. I mean, words of wisdom. He's been to the finals. He's won a championship. Uh, he actually beat me in the championship when we was in the bubble. So, I mean, now he he has a lot of wisdom with his game, and, and he he teaches us a whole bunch. I mean, even though he's not out there playing with us, we all we all see that that Keith is well able to be out there playing with us. But I mean, he 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 just takes that role that he has and, and he flourishes with it. He he lets everybody know what he sees out there. And I mean, he's been helping me tremendously this year. Times when I was times when I was upset, I was a little bit out of my head. He was the one that brought me back. And that's one thing I always thank him for.